Hello guys, uh, it's been a long while after I produced my math uh, online lesson. Uh, thank you very much for all your support. Uh, from here onward, I I hope that I can produce uh, more videos since the exam um, time is very near. Okay, all right. Now this is uh, just a small uh, portions of complex number. Let's look at this uh, question here. Now we have a complex number W and Z uh, defined by uh, such W is 5 plus 3i and Z equal to 4 plus um, i. So we need to express uh, IW divided by Z in the form of X plus IY, showing all your working and giving the exact values of X and Y. All right. Then the second one, we need to find out um, WZ. And hence, by considering its uh, arguments, we're going to prove that the following um, expression is correct. All right, so let's get started with this. Okay, now the first part is quite uh, direct. Just let me show it to you. Number one is just uh, I W over Z, which is I W. And then over Z here. Right, now here you can actually apply rationalizations, but before that we are going to simplify the numerator first. We have negative 3, i with i is negative 3. Okay, <clears throat> there we have it. And then from here we are going to rationalize that. Now we're going to rationalize this using its uh, conjugates for the denominator, which is uh, 4 plus i here. Uh, sorry, 4 minus y. Uh, 4 minus i, all right? Okay, now next we just need to expand and simplify from here. Okay, let us uh, expand and simplify this. We will have a negative 12 here. Uh, plus uh, 3i plus uh, 20i here and then uh, the final one we need to pay more attention to is actually 5i squared now bear in mind because this is a complex number uh, therefore i squared must be equal to negative 1 okay that's the one thing that we need to pay attention to the following is quite easy you can use the uh, difference of square formula which is 4 square minus i square in this case and then uh, therefore we can simplify everything we have 12 plus 23i um, now this one because uh, i square is equal to negative 1 this become 5 and then uh, the same thing go for the denominator we have uh, 16 here plus a 1 and then uh, once we simplify this, we have a negative 7 plus 23i divided by 17. Or we can write as negative 7 over 17 plus 23 over 17i. There. All right. And then there you have it. We managed to um, convert this uh, ratio of complex number into this um, standard form of complex number. And then uh, giving all your working and the exact value for x and y, uh, these are our exact value for x and exact value for y there. Alright, so I hope that is clear for the first part. Now we're going to move on to the second part shortly. Alright, now let's look at the second part. Find wz and hence by considering its arguments, we need to prove the following expression whether it's true or false. Now, first of all, it's quite a direct approach here. We just need to find out the product of the two complex number WZ, which is 5 plus 3i and 4 plus i here. And then uh, let's try to finish it up. Just go through the normal expansion. We have 20 uh, plus 5i plus 12i. And then uh, finally, this part I just uh, simplify directly. It's easier to see here. You have uh, 17 plus 17i here. All right, and then there you have it. <clears throat> now next, it says that by considering its argument, 
uh, what arguments are they talking about? They are referring to the argument for WC. Now let's uh, let's call this uh, one complex number. Let's call this the complex number P. Then. Uh, let's call this complex number P. We're going to represent this. Uh, I better not use this symbol here because usually they use it to represent uh, the complex conjugate. So I just say that there is such a complex number that represents the product of WZ as P. And then we're going to represent this on the argon diagram. Okay, so we can draw the argon diagram. Now that will be the real part. And then we have the imaginary part. Okay, so from here we are going to represent this uh, complex number on this argon diagram that is around 17 and 17, approximately is here. And then we'll put a line over here. Now there you have it, this is a complex number uh, at this point 17, 17 here. And then its argument is the angle measured from the real axis. This is the argument. So I can say the argument of P is basically just data in our case. Now, one way to obtain the data is by using trigonometry ratio such as tangent. Uh, by referring to this uh, right angled triangle here, I'm going to call this uh, OAB here. By referring to this right angled triangle, uh, we know that tangent theta is equal to 17 over 17, which is a 1. And then from there, we can obtain the angle, the acute angle theta in this case, which is the inverse uh, tangent. And then uh, by using your calculator, you should know uh, very well, this is 45 degree or pi over 4 radian. Okay, so therefore we can conclude that the argument for this complex number P or uh, the argument for this WZ is equal to pi over 4. That is, argument P is the same as argument WZ, which is the same as pi over 4 here. Alright, so I hope that is clear. And then, um, now, by using one of the uh, property or rules of uh, multiplications or arguments, we can um, we can actually write this one down as argument W plus argument Z equal to pi over four here. All right. Now, why is that so? All right, that is possible is because um, we can use the Euler form to prove it. All right, so there is a proof on uh, this particular property of complex number. All right? If you are interested, uh, I'm going to show you uh, right after this. Uh, let's try to apply the result of that uh, Euler uh, property. The product of argument is the same as the sum of the uh, individual arguments here. And then uh, by looking at the argument for W, now argument for W, that is typically 5, you can see it from here, argument for W is the tangent inverse 3 over 5, whereas the argument for Z is tangent inverse 1 over 4, and then that should be the same as pi over 4 here. Now I could have uh, illustrated this on the argon diagram here. All right, so let me erase off a bit here so that I can show it to you. I'm going to draw another argon diagram so that it's not too messy in this case. Uh, just to show it to you here. All right, now let's just by looking at the complex number W, we have like, um, let's assume that this is uh, 2, 4, 6 here. So we have um, uh, 5, uh, 5, 3. 5, 3 will be around here. Let's call this W then, complex number W. And then uh, this is around 5 and 3. 
all right so this is called the alpha for instance so the argument for w argument for w is basically alpha which is you can see that is three unit over five there. all right so i hope that is clear and then uh, secondly for z is four unit and then one so it should be somewhere here let's call this the um, complex number z here and then by drawing a right angle triangle again you should be able to conclude that argument for z is basically one over four here all right oops sorry argument for z is not one over four is the tangent inverse one over four here just let me correct that tangent inverse one over four and then uh, that proof this uh, summations of the arguments is actually equal to uh, pi over 4 there, right? So I hope that is clear.